Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And if those for those that you don't know me, I'm Diane. And I'm Harry. And we are UK Disney Vlog. Yeah, we UK Disney Vlog. Um we have got a QA session, haven't we? So I put a request out to Twitter and Instagram um quite a while ago actually. Sorry. Life got in the way. It's taken us a long time to film it, hasn't it? You're tired already. We've not even started. Uh, it's taken us a long time to film it. So Harry wanted to be in it. Emily didn't. Um, and neither did David. So it's just me and, me and you, isn't it? Let's mm -hmm. see how we can do it. We've got a lot of questions to get through. It might end up being a two-parter. So let's see how far we go. All my questions are in my diary, in my little book. So we'll, we'll crack on and see where we get to. First questions come from Oh Bother. Um, I will try and leave a link down to all the channels that I've mentioned in the descriptions below. Is that all right, Dad? Yeah. So we will do that. So this is the first one is from Oh Bother. Most favourite Disney character and why? Who's your favourite Disney character? Um, Groot or Boba Fett. Groot or Boba Fett. Quite far out there. Why do you like them? Because uh, Groot is... Okay. Baby Groot or Big Groot? Baby. Baby Groot. You're a big fan of Baby Groot, aren't you? And Boba Fett. He's such a random Star Wars character. Why do you like him? I just do. He does. He really likes Boba Fett. He's got a Boba Fett t-shirt. He's got a Boba Fett toy. Yeah. Is it my turn? My favourite Disney character? It's a tough one, that one. I think my favourite Disney princess, even though I don't do princesses, is Belle. Just because I love the movie so much. I love Princess Belle. I love the music and the movie has always been my favourite. I think Minnie is my favourite Disney character because she's got a lot of sass and she's got a lot of style. I like that. Yeah? What's that face? What's sass? Hi, I'm Minnie and I got lots of style. Yeah? yeah? I don't think he quite gets that one. Okay. Best thing about Disney parks? It's because it's fun and it has loads of rides and it has loads of candy and yummy stuff. Kind of? Can, can, candy and yummy, yummy stuff. stuff. Okay. Favourite things about Disney parks? Now that's a hard question. I think all of these are going to be uh, tricky questions. Um, I think it's just the most magical place on earth. No matter what's going on, it's just the most fun place to be, isn't it? Um, the atmosphere, everything, the staff. I mean, the staff and customer service is exceptional, second to none. It just makes it an amazing place to be. Mm -hmm. Matter. What? You got a sore neck already. Sit up straight, shoulders back. Okay. What's the worst thing about the Disney park? Uh, Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. Everything. It's my favourite thing. Uh, what? That everything there is the happiest place in the park from Tower of Terror. Okay, apart from the Tower of Terror. Um, the worst thing about the Disney parks? The cost. Yeah, it, it's a bit expensive, isn't it? Not that you'd know. Yeah, that's the worst thing about them. We could just make things a little bit cheaper. What's little it bit. Yeah, well, yeah, for them. Right. I think mm -hmm. I asked you this question last time and you said that it's hot. Oh yeah, it's very hot. Yeah, when we go, it's super hot, isn't it? It's it goes cold, it goes extremely cold, then extremely hot. Mm. So the last question from Oh Bother was best on and off off site places to eat. Um, I'm not sure Harry could really answer the off site places to eat because for his last few trips that Harry will remember, we've never really eaten off site, as in not a Disney not a Disney restaurant. So what's your favourite Disney restaurant? Um give you a clue. Yeah? Harry's favourite Disney restaurant is the T-Rex Cafe, isn't it? Oh god, it's so much fun. If you see one of our other videos um, from our latest last trip, um, it was such it was so nice. And this year the food was really good as well. Sometimes the food can be a bit meh, but it was really good fun. It's not quiet, it's it's very um not very atmospheric, apart from if you think you're in a meteor meteor shower with lots of dinosaurs. That's yes. basically what it is. And I think it's got like a fossil thing. Yeah, it's got a fossil digging area for the kids, yeah. hasn't it? Which you really like. Are you a dinosaur? Are you a T-Rex? 
So my favourite off-site place to go is, I'd say the Bahama Breeze. I absolutely love the Bahama Breeze. It's, um, I love the food and the cocktails are amazing. And they've got a really nice, <laughs> you're right there. Just doing some stretches, doing the morning workout. Um, yeah, Bahama Breeze is an amazing place to go and it's got the most amazing key lime pie and the margaritas are fantastic. So Bahama Breeze is definitely my favorite off-site restaurant to go. On site, now that's a tricky one. I've got so many favorites, it's really hard to choose. Um, maybe two from Disney Springs. Sorry, I have to say two. House of Blues. Oh yeah. Or Chef Art Homecoming. That chicken is exquisite. Um, but there's just too many to choose for I me. Don't, I don't get like off site. So it means places that aren't Disney. Disney, Disney Springs has the word Disney in no, it. No, but my favourite off-site restaurant was Bahama Breeze because that's not a Disney restaurant. Yeah? Do you mean like... Restaurants that aren't Disney. Oh. You wouldn't really go to... You've not been to any of them really, have you? Apart from McDonald's. Domino's. Domino's. Um, I'm trying to think of an off-site restaurant you've been to. Your pancakes? You love Wendy's Pancakes? Denny's Diner? Yeah. Perkins. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Can't even remember half of these. Anyway. Denny's. We love Denny's. Manny's. Manny's Chop House is another good one. Oh God, stop. There's too many places. Right, there's too many places. And if you want to be in the vlog, come and be in the vlog. Yeah? What do you reckon? Yep. Yeah. See, we're offering up a seat. Okay, so that's it from my bother. So thank you very much for those questions. They're great questions, weren't they? So the next one is from Nibbles and Bubbles. What memory from a Disney holiday stands out the most? Flight of Passage. Flight of Passage. Going on Flight of Passage for the very first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a really good memory. Um, I think I've probably got a lot, a lot of really good memories that stand out the most for me. I think one of them is going to my sister-in-law's wedding. I think it was an incredible experience. Um, it was a Disney wedding. Um, it was held at the boardwalk in that pavilion there. And that memory really stands out for us because we're all dressed up, all felt like princesses today, even though I wasn't getting married, being part of the, yeah, being part of the bridal party was amazing and you just got to feel a little bit special and it was lovely, feeling very special like uh, that. Wasn't I like a toddler? You were, you were just turning three. Cool. Um, okay. Who was the first vlogger you watched? I think one of the first vloggers I watched was Adam, Adam Hatton. Um, so yeah, Adam Hatton and Disney in Detail were the first couple of vloggers I watched relating to Disney. Who was the first vlogger you watched? Dan TDM. Yeah. Harry's watching Dan TDM. It wasn't Disney related, was it? No, nothing no. including. So obviously that one, one of Harry's very first Disney vloggers was Adam because mum made him watch it at dinner. Yeah. You like Adam Hatton, don't you? Mm -hmm. He's a good vlogger, isn't he? So what's your favourite quick service meal? I don't, I don't, I still, I kind of don't, I can't get, I don't know, yeah. Hot dogs. Hot dogs are Harry's yeah. favourite quick service meal. Um, I think, we've never been to Casey's Corner actually, we've been to Casey's Corner in Disneyland Paris, but we've never been to Casey's Corner in Magic Kingdom, because Emily doesn't like hot dogs. You know my fussy family if, you, if you're not new to this channel, um, but Harry's favourite meal is American hot dogs. Yeah, look at him. He wants one now. I think my favourite quick service meal is the... Chicken. It's not chicken. That's Emily's. Emily's is chicken nuggets, isn't it? Um, is the restaurant in Morocco. I can't remember the quick the name of the quick service restaurant in Morocco. But yeah, that's my favourite quick service. Um, we didn't get to go this year, but it does amazing food. It's quick service and you wouldn't even know it. It does amazing couscous and lambs and yeah, it's really, really lovely. So that's my favourite. What are you looking at that for? Morocco? In Epcot? Yeah! Imagine! All the different worlds? Yeah. In Morocco? Yeah. All of them? <laughs> Even Antarctica? No, it's not all of them. But anyway. Well, that's okay. So, the next lot of questions comes from Wardy's World. So, I think the first question's for me, I'm afraid. What made you sign up for the Disney Marathon? Um. I like Disney. I like running. 
that's it, really. Um, nothing, <laughs> yeah. When I first found out there was a Run Disney event, I was already kind of a little bit into running. And then I actually found out it was a massive community. So it was a no brainer really. I wanted to sign up to the Disney Marathon and I did. I've been wanting to do it for so long. Um, I never thought it was ever going to be possible until the kids finished school, but I just did it. I just went for it and I just did it. Um, yeah, so that's it really. Um, there's no, yeah, I love running, I love Disney, two things together. Yay! So what's your favorite Disney film? Avatar. Avatar. Is it a Disney film? Okay, it's a Disney film. I think my favourite Disney film is probably Beauty and the Beast. I love the live action remake the best, I think, because it, it just made me cry from start to finish the first time I watched it. Of course, it's a Disney film. It's got two Disney lines. One of them is the best ride there, and one of them is the worst one. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, which resort are you desperate to stay at? Animal Kingdom Lodge. Don't tell me, tell them. Animal Kingdom Lodge because we could have come there. I really want to stay there because of somebody right next to me. We might have been able to stay there last trip. We didn't work the finances out, but we might have been able to stay there and we didn't. And unfortunately, we let it slip to Harry one day and anyway, he really is desperate to stay at Animal Kingdom Lodge. You want to stay on Savannah, don't yeah. you? And see the animals. My favourite resort is going to be the Polynesian. Really, really want to stay at the Polynesian. Yeah, it looks so incredible. The pool looks amazing. The actual whole thing just looks wow. Yeah, Pol the bungalows would be even better. Overlooking Disney Castle. Yeah. That would be my dream. Um, there's like another one we've been to, but we didn't really stay at it. That one with like the lazy river and the massive lighthouse. Oh, uh, the beach club? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, was it Lazy River? I can't remember. Don't do that. Ow. Next question. Disney or Universal? Have you been to Universal Studios? Yeah, it's never been to Universal Studios really. Four months old. That trip doesn't count. So I think we're massive Disney fans. Um, I think maybe we're going to try going to Universal. Um, now that ch the kids are older, that's definitely a thing to do. So yeah. Want to go to Universal? See yeah. Harry Potter? Yeah. Transformers? Yeah. Spider Man ride? Yeah. I think you'd actually like Pop Pop. Uh, Jurassic um, Park area. Got massive dinosaur area. Harry doesn't know enough about Universal Studios, um, so I think you'd actually really, really love it. So I think we maybe will try go there next time. Great questions, Wadi's World. Thank you very much. So the next questions come from the Baker family. Yeah, another great vloggers that we love. So, what ride won't you do? Um, I don't think there is a ride I won't do. There's a ride I say that. Um, I've even been on, what's it called? At Bush Gardens? Falcon's Fury. I've even done Falcon's Fury at Bush Gardens. Um, so yeah, there isn't really a ride I won't do. I love rides. Um, what ride won't you do? Won't you do? Love. What ride is it? And what you're saying is... It's a small world after all. <laughs> Harry hates it. I thought I, li I thought I would like it because it's a long ride. I like long rides. But I can't... I can't. He, when he first went on it, he's like, Oh, I like this ride. It's really long. And you're like... It's too long, isn't it? It just goes I, on I just, and on All the and words on. you hear, it's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. And the only words you, words you don't hear is like an emergency thing. Okay. I wouldn't want to get stuck on that ride. Who got stuck on that ride? Dad. Dad and Emily got stuck on that ride when you on our very first trip and he's never been on it ever since. Never. Mm. So that's... Yeah, so there's no ride that I won't do. Do you enjoy vlogging? Do you like vlogging? I don't have my own channel. You don't? You want your own channel? I do. you don't. like vlogging on our channel? Yeah. Yeah. I think I quite enjoy vlogging actually. Yeah, I think the more I'm doing it, the more I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, it's something I'd never thought I'd ever wanted to do and I never 
before I wanted to start a YouTube channel. It was very extreme for me, but I'm actually really enjoying it. I love, I actually love trying to do it and I'm trying to be a little bit more creative and put things together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I do enjoy vlogging actually. So thanks for the questions guys. Okay. So the next questions comes from Tinker Tales. Thanks Tinker, thanks guys. Um, if you could bring back an extinct attraction at Walt Disney World or attraction, or sorry. If you could bring back an extinct Walt Disney World attraction or ride or show, what would it be? Um, I know it's the great movie ride because we were on it for the last time. Wasn't that my very first time on it? Yeah. So yeah, Harry loved the great movie ride and we were there at, um, in Hollywood Studios the day it closed and we were there to ride it on its very last day, weren't we? Yeah. Which was really sad because it was a really good ride and Harry actually loved it. Even though it was like quite a lot of movies that he didn't know, he just loved the concept of it. So we think it should have stayed mm -hmm. and maybe been a bit modern. Maybe a couple of things for the mm -hmm. kids that they didn't know, or sorry, bits, that, bits for the kids that they then knew, but we loved the premise. It was such a great ride, wasn't it? Yeah. What, what about it? lights, um, camera, action? Like the motor car one, you liked that one as well. Do you remember that? No, I think mine would be the uh, um, Batlock Ex not the Batlock Express, because that's a restaurant. The Batlock Tour. I love the Batlock Tour. Um, mm. It was, yeah, you just felt like you are in a movie set, and yeah, that, that was fun. Um, wasn't, wasn't the only one I went to, like, a cowboy one? Yeah, it was a cowboy one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, okay. Show Wishes. Wishes is cool, just once and every now, but I do love Happily Ever After. Uh, Main Street Electrical Parade. Oh, there's so many. A parade at Hollywood Studios. When I first went to Hollywood Studios, when it was called MGM, there used to be a Toy Story parade. Now that would be awesome. It would go with the land, with the Toy Story land. How cool would that be? Um, very cool, but what do you mean? Like. MGM. So Hollywood Studios used to be a different name. It used to be called MGM Studios. Yeah, they changed the name. They still might change the name. Harry looks a bit baffled. Anyway, so that's that one. What's top of your Disney bucket list? So what would you want to do more than anything? I think it's probably just stay at one of the hotels, isn't it? Stay at the... Um, Polynesian for me, and Animal Kingdom for Harry. Yeah, so anything else you'd want to really do? I think I'd like to do stay in all the resorts, um, stay in the Contemporary for a couple of nights, watch the fireworks, um, and Disney Marathon. The Disney Rock, I run Disney events on the top of my bucket list, but that's going to be ticked off um, soon. Not. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. What's up? In this many days. 187 sleeps as we're filming this, so fingers crossed. Yeah. So they are some great questions from Tinker Tales. Thanks, guys. So the next question comes from Disney Lost Boys and Girls. If you could create a Disney ride, sorry, a Disney attraction from any Disney film, which would it be and why? What? See, these ones I can't think of answers to because I've got zero imagination. I'm sorry. Um, you had a good one though, you've we've asked you this question before. Well, what was it? If you could create a Disney attraction from any Disney film, Ooh. which would it be and why? I can't remember, can you? Because actually I'll give you a bit of a clue. Yeah. From Wreck It Ralph. Oh yeah. It, so like... The racing it? car. Yeah, where you like have to drive it. Yeah, in the Candyland. Yeah. Like Vanellope. I think that'd be that'd be a really mm. good idea. Yeah, I can't think of any. We thought of a, like, we think of Marvel, but there are some Marvel stuff coming out as well, aren't there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, what? Marvel, Marvel what? Well, there's a new, gonna be a new Marvel ride at Epcot. Yeah. What? Oh, isn't it Guardians of the Galaxy? Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. Oh, yeah, of Yeah. We also need to go to California and go on Guardians oh. of the Galaxy there, don't we? I'm not we can't fool him, he knows it's the Tower of Terror. But I think it's a bit different, actually. Yeah, you have to scan yourself, but it, like, actually goes... Does it go faster? I don't think so. I think it's better. I think it's a different sort of... I don't think it's a full-on... Drop. What do you mean? So it, so it doesn't just go... No, I don't think so. Quote me if I'm wrong. 
Okay. The next one comes from a great name that Harry would love. Panda's Adventures. Yeah. Harry's favourite thing, pandas. What is your favourite Disney ride and why? Well, I think we know the answer to yours. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? Light of Passage or Test Track? That's a tough one. He forgets about some of these rides, don't you? Do you want the vlog to be? Do you want the vlog to be two hours? Why? <laughs> you can't. Flight of Passage or Test Track? <laughs> what are you doing? Test Track. Oh! <laughs> What's my favourite? I've always said it's the Tower of Terror, but I love Slinky Dog. Oh, you forgot about that one too, didn't you? <laughs> but I love Slinky Dog, but Tower of Terror. Ah! I like. Um, I'm gonna say Tower of Terror for me. Don't say You're going test track. That's your final answer. Thanks for those questions, guys. Yep. I might change my. You might change your mind. Okay. We're on to the next group of questions. We've still got two pages to go. Definitely going to be a two part one, this. Yep. So come on. We're almost there. So the next question comes from um, Nathan Staker. Thanks for the questions, by the way, everyone. What is your favourite? memory from Walt Disney World. I think we've already answered that question already. I think my favourite memory is when my sister-in-law got married. Added into that, I think my favourite memory is when Emily first went to Walt Disney World. Obviously Harry can't remember because he was a baby, but seeing her face light up as the um, parade came down um, Main Street was just an incredible little thing. Her face just lit up. It was just wonderful to see. What was the first time I like, it kind of like, Properly went to Disney when I like under when I wasn't a baby and I probably so you were, um uh when we stayed at Old Key West you weren't a baby then well, I think you remember the last trip better was it I don't mind so what is the one thing you've never done in Florida that you'd like to do um see the that Mickey's fantastic. So that, that. Fantasia. Yeah. Uh, Fantasmic, sorry. You have seen Fantasmic, you just can't remember it. When? <laughs> See, this is why you don't take young kids to Disney, because they don't remember any of it. Just for the parents. <laughs> no, it's not. So he has seen Fantasmic, but you want to go and see Fantasmic. Mm. I think Dad's thing that he'd always want to do when he goes to Florida is go to and watch a rocket launch. We have. We've not seen a rocket launch. We haven't been to a, been to a NASA. We've been to the Kennedy Space Center, but we'd like to go and see a proper rocket launch, wouldn't we? I saw my real, I saw my space, the spaceship I, I love. Yeah, you saw, you saw the shuttle, didn't you, Atlantis? Mm. Yeah, so that was really cool. So if you've never been to NASA, please go, because it's incredible. And I was lit, and I thought it was just going to be a, a little rocket and facts, and there was facts and the rocket and the, and the whole little spaceship. It wasn't a little spaceship, was it? It was massive. Massive, massive, massive. I um, what else would I like to go in Florida? I'd like to go to the Florida Keys. I'd like to go to Miami. Yeah. Um, yeah. David's behind the camera doing this dancing. Yeah. Not quite sure why. Do you have any hobbies besides Disney or vlogging? What's your hobby? Uh, playing, uh, yeah, Harry loves playing Fortnite, so that's one of that, um, Harry's hobbies. Um, my hobby, I work a lot. Running, I suppose. I do love running. Um, carrying babies. Carrying babies. Well, that's my job. I, yeah, that's my job. It's not my hobby. I do like all sorts, really. I like to be a bit arts and craftsy, but I'm rubbish at finishing the jobs off. I start them, and then I don't finish them. So yeah, not very good with that. I suppose running is my, one of my hobbies, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Disney. Disney, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a really, really tough question, Nathan. I, I, I'm, 
I've already said I've got no imagination. You're an imagineer and have to design a fifth gate. What theme would it be? Rides, etc. So you basically have to uh, design the whole new theme park. What would it be? I thought maybe, I thought maybe a Marvel land, a Marvel dedicated land that's just completely Marvel because we absolutely love Marvel. Um, how it'd work, I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure if it be as, would be as immersive as like Pandora or Star Wars. I think it'd be quite mm. difficult to do, but yeah, they need more Marvel rides. Um, That'd be really cool. I kind of, I, I thought of one, but I kind of have to move the place. Mm. Um, Star Wars land, but I, I don't know. We've got Star Wars. I know, already. but no, but I mean like everything that's literally Star Wars, like Ewok not village and like not just in like Hollywood studios. Okay, so like, a whole you moved it and like whole okay, like right. Okay, so that's a tough question. Yeah, thanks for those anyway, Nathan. I, I hope I've I hope we've answered them well. I shouldn't have said Star Wars. I just thought of an algorithm. Like. Go on, what? Um, um, where, where, when you watch that little, when you watch the news for five seconds, um, like those, that when we went, where we have to, when you're in that red shuttle and see three people as the driver. Startles? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So you like Star Wars? We've got a Star Wars theme park. Okay. So again, thanks Nathan for those questions. So I think we're gonna cut this one there for our Q&A session part one. So thanks for watching guys. Thanks for all those fantastic questions. We will leave a link to all the amazing channels down below. Um, yeah, so thanks for all those questions and please come back for our Q&A part two. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.